I'm John Riley. The Camino as a path of awakening from fear to love. John, the Camino is a path for awakening. Can you talk a little bit about why that is? Yes, surely. I mean, to me, um, you know, that's, you know, a classic definition of a pilgrim route. Mm. So it applies absolutely to the Camino. You know, all traditions have within them mystical traditions and uh, religious traditions. The idea that somehow we fell asleep and therefore that's an ex we have to accept that if we need to awaken uh, in, in order to find our true self we have to let go of the false self. So in this process of awakening, we first have to acknowledge that we are lost, that we are asleep. Otherwise, you know, there's nowhere to go. That's the starting point. And uh, if we look at the Buddhist tradition, you know, the Buddha, the word the Buddha means the awakened one. To find our Buddha nature, we need to awaken. The Christian tradition has within it the lovely story of Adam, you know, and a great sleep mm. came across Adam. And nowhere in the great book is there any reference to Adam waking up. Now, if we have that as a starting point, the, what's this got to do with the Caminos? Well, the Caminos take us out of our ordinary state, our, mm. the consensus reality, what we're familiar with. And it throws us sort of into a sort of a, a mystery. We don't know the other people that are around us. We don't know the route. Everything is different. Everything is slightly strange. Uh, and we might, as we walk along, suddenly find that we're not even sure who we are ourselves. So, you know, this sense of a lostness and not knowing comes to the fore. And in a way, uh, what we need to uh, somehow accept is that at some stage, we have to let go everything that we thought we knew. We have to empty out in order to create space for new awareness, new mm. consciousness to drop in. We can't open up to the new by just stuffing in new <laughs> stuff into an already right. overcrowded mind. It right. can't work that way. So the Camino was a path of awakening it starts by emptying out. And it's the perfect vehicle for that because as we walk along the route, it takes, you know, however many weeks we have. If you start in Budapest, it's going to take you three months. <laughs> There's a lot of emptying out to be done in that amount of time. And slowly, as we go along, all the preconceived notions, all the prejudices that we were brought up with, all the conditioning of our minds begins to let go. It begins to dissipate. And in that then open space, new insights can drop in, a new awareness, mm. an awakening happens, but only once we've emptied out the old. And that's the sort of, in a sense, the, the, the crucial place is the emptying out. That's it, it's the emptying out in order for space for awakening to happen.